Okay, it's being a bit again, and today this part we talk about how to list the order item related with the order. Yes, and especially we use the collab bootstrap. Okay, so you can follow me step by step to design with the collab form. Okay. We has already the order. Yes, before I saw with the view print. Okay, so I change to the view. So we go to the left and in order uh, in order in directory customer, we add the button ID. Follow step by step by step like this, and this is the bootstrap data target. So we add the icon as I add the icon. So and we create the TORO below. So in TORO, we add the class. This is the class bootstrap. Yeah, we do not need to create this class. This is the class bootstrap has already. And then we call the demo key from the data target. Okay, we use the demo, and we add the same key to collapse. So we use the key here. So in the TOR in this TOR we saw the table or the item now we add to class T we add the T hat we add item so we create the T body so in TR we add a TD data for some item one and TD we add bright Refresh showing the table what's happened. Okay, we add the uh, in the body so we close at. So in TD, we don't forget to add TD. So we close the add TD below here.
Okay, we end uh, here. So I add a class. We refer again. So when we change the letter boy, so and this is the class that we create the table right here. but we use the course banner for to the td in the row here you can count the tds okay so we do the course span i has the column h so we refresh okay and then we complete the design or the inventory customer ready please go to and order we want to uh, in model order item we want to create we create we create a relationship okay relationship refer to the order id or the product refer to product id but in the color i don't want to use yes so we order we use belong choose order class model copy we pass again and we change to products and uh, product model when we complete already please go to uh, order in order we have function here okay, function we has the relationship with the order item because the order item has order ID so we use order item has many have many order item so let's go to product we want to join to order okay we copy the order here when we complete our day relationship yes I close our code then go to HTTP controller customer customer controller so we want to use with the array here for example we call the relationship item item so we use yes, item order so we so relationship relation with item yeah, and this is uh, the order the owner of customer so when we choose and you can find relations relation has to payment and order item so in the order item has the relation with the product okay so, and has product but we so the there is not so so we could do and we use the dot 
dots and below that then we has the key in order ID order detail order order item so when I refresh again and then so with the relation in order item we check again and relation so in relations has the product but so change refresh okay we has the already relations is so when you read the data here so we use for each and all refer to the object order so in the object order has the order item okay and has the order item so we provide item Yeah, we call the product name called to products okay product refer to the product here and this is the product relationship so in product relationship we has the for example if when we refresh and you can click you can see the this is the product name okay product key Okay, product name, but we want to call the key name products. So we use the name. Item and your quantity item. Okay, products and and price Just amount of item okay when we complete we refresh again okay and the data so he in the like this so I go to Change the style header. Unit danger. Yes, unit danger. So we had a complete R D with the product for example, if the customer order again. So I want to order Okay, we had a pending the diets but if we had the two customer and mean that the another customer can see this this order for example if I had a customer to okay so for example this is a customer because in the customer the boy had a customer that password if I click the order mean that this is the uh, order of the customer name of customer here so we don't want to show the like this so please go to 
eh, go to mode again click the order mode and right now we want to join function here okay relation with customer okay this belong to and the customer here and we use the f slash customer and then right now we want to where okay where id and then we use the art id so where id here when we refresh again and so on this so please go to customer and customer order again and we has the we has customer here so when we refresh again and the the customers are cannot see the order of customer and other so when I check out we log in with the customer has order so we take and this is the customer order here. so I change we add the card again and check out we want to log in with the SAR customer okay when we change and this is the order of the customer here customer SAR okay so we log again I will add to you customer show in the disorder of customer name customer but if you want to use the status with the lumbar color okay let's go to order again but at the database, we must create the, the column name. For example, we go to status, and in the status, we create the class name, warning, primary, and default success deny refer to the class bootstrap. So, in model status, we add the class here. Before I forget, so we use and order again. So before we show the like this, for example, success. But right now we call from the products, all data and class. When I refresh, okay, and this is it like this. Okay, I think that you know clearly how to call order item with the order ID and customer with the login. So in the last time of the end window or video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment on my video. Okay? Thank you, everybody. Say goodbye. But don't forget to follow me step by step in the next time. Okay? Bye.